and welcome back to my channel and this is a timeless readings um, I'm just going to pull a few cards for different situations so while we're sort of mid-month I thought what we'll do is something a little bit different so we'll start with um, people who are in relationship problems so if you are we'll do single first if you're single and you are unhappy about being single and you want to know if a uh, relationship's coming Let's pull three or four cards and see what they have for you. Okay, so for single people who are looking for a relationship, oh, you've got the opportunity of a new path there. You're not feeling yourself. We've got the Queen of Pentacles there. She's upside down. You're feeling unhappy. You're not feeling right. But you have got this opportunity. Come in and look what we've got here. We've got a person. We've got cups. We've got a cup of love is quite possibly on its way and the moon can be about not knowing all the situation this is upside down so I think you know this person so for those of you who are quite possibly single and you're looking for romance in your life right now I do see the possibility of someone coming I do see that possibility of it being somebody that you know okay so wow and Ten of Pentacles, and this could be a really happy relationship. This could be fulfilling. This could be really, really good. So we've got the opportunity of someone coming, it's quite possibly somebody that you know, and it's somebody that's gonna make you very happy. Could also be somebody linked to money because we've got three Pentacles cards there. Could it be somebody from work? Could it be someone that works with money? Somebody deals with a bank, somebody that deals with finances, who knows, but money is involved there. So there you go, you singles out there, this is a timeless reading, remember? So when you find this reading, and hopefully um, you have a situation in your life where this sort of uh, reading is needed. Okay, so for those of you in a relationship, let's have a look at your messages for this moment in time. What messages do the cards have for you? Okay. So we can see that you've been working hard, you've been getting everything organised. You're feeling possibly a little bit bored, a little bit like the, the closeness isn't there in this relationship. So for those of you already in a relationship, you've got everything there in a row, you're feeling a little bit bored, you're feeling that things aren't quite sorted, but you want to bring that, you want to bring that closeness back. You will be celebrating, you will be succeeding, and you will be finding that happiness again, okay? So for those of you in a relationship at the moment, and it feels not quite right, it feels that there's something, you know, that you've lost that closeness. It looks like you will be succeeding, you will be successful, and you will be bringing that closeness back in again. Let's move to the job situation now, okay? So for those people who are perhaps unhappy in a job, are thinking of moving, you want some uh, messages right now? Let's have a look and see what the cards say for you. Okay, we'll turn them up because in a time of three, it doesn't really matter which way round they are. You've got the magician, the pentacles, the lovers and the devil. So you have the ability, you have all the tools, all the skills needed for whatever it is you want to do. So don't worry if you're sitting there thinking, I'd like to do this, I'd like to do that. Stop the worrying and you've got everything you need to, that you need for moving on to this new job. You're holding on to your money there, so you are feeling that you want to hold a little bit back just to uh, tide you over, just in case it's a little while before the new money comes in. But for those of you thinking of changing, it's quite possibly a good idea to keep a little bit of money back, make sure you've got some savings in there, um, you know, in case of whatever it is you're moving to, it takes you a little while to get the money in. But this is something you love. We've got the lover's card here. This is something you love. This is something you enjoy. So for those of you thinking of moving on, quite possibly you will find something that you love, something that you enjoy. It could also be that you end up in a business partnership. And it will be a long commitment. We've got the devil card here. The devil card is about being chained to something, you know, a commitment, something that you can't sort of escape from. The devil card can be um, to do with things like um, drinking, smoking, so habits, things that you can't necessarily sort of kick. So it's telling me that whatever it is you want to move to or whatever may come your way, 
um, for those of you who, who just want to change jobs but haven't got any idea, it does look like whatever you're going to be um, going to, you know, whatever options are out there, it's something that you will be committed to, something that's long term, something that you will feel like you can't leave, you want to stay with. Um, so that's what I'm getting there with that and the lover's card as as well, that commitment. So um, yeah, so for those of you who are looking at changing jobs at the moment or thinking about it, it does look like whatever you go to, it looks like it'll be good, you will enjoy it, long commitment. Just make sure you've got a few savings and some money held back and you have got all the skills that you need for whatever's going to come your way. Wow, so we've looked at job, we've looked at relationships. So how about those of you who are having money problems at the moment? For those of you who want to know if more money is coming your way, you will be celebrating, you will be happy. Something good is coming. It's calming the waters down, it's making you feel a lot happier. It's bringing in stability. There could also be another person involved. So whether somebody else is going to be helping you, quite possibly will. Um, with it being the King of Swords, they could cut some ties. Is this somebody that would help pay off some debts? Somebody that will um, put an end to a situation that's causing you money problems? But I do feel like you're going to be celebrating something. Everything is calming down and somebody's going to be coming in there to cut some ties and end some problems, helping the money situation for you. You will have a decision to make and you feel a little bit blindfolded um, because this, this decision could affect other people or you're trying to stay impartial, but you do have to have a decision to make involving money. But it looks like help is on the way. It looks like if this person's not coming in to cut ties for you, you could be cutting ties or something else. Perhaps you've got a gym subscription or something like that. You realise you can't afford it, you're going to have to end it. So there's an ending of something but waters are calming down and things are getting better. So for those of you in finance issues at the moment, just have a good look at your finances. It may be that you need to end something in order to um, help the uh, finance situation, but it does look like somebody coming in there to help things and ties being cut. Okay. Wow, so we've got relationships, we've had a job, we've had money. Let's look at house now. So for those of you who are thinking of buying a house, getting on the uh, ladder, or for those of you who um, buying houses, moving. What have the cards got to say for these people? Oh, and we've got that card out again. We've got the Emperor. Again, this could be somebody in authority, this could be somebody above you, like a father figure. There's somebody helping you, somebody um, advising you in this situation, somebody sorting things out. You've been hurt, there's been some sort of upset. Um, did you have your heart set on a house? You can't have that house. Did you have your heart set on something? Um, but This situation has is causing you upset. There's definite upset around this situation. You just want to get on. You're stuck. You're feeling stuck. The situation that you're in, you just want to get on. But you have got what you need. Um, so that is good. Let's pull over one more card. And we've got the lovers. A good situation is coming. Something that you will love. So, okay, you may have to turn to somebody for help. You may have to have some advice you've been hurt, you're not feeling happy, you're feeling bored, you're feeling stuck, when is this going to happen, you can't get out of this situation, but you have got what you need and something is coming, the lover's card, a commitment with somebody else, or you know, a commitment coming together, so things are coming together for you, so for those people looking at moving house, looking at buying a house, you know, any sort of house situation, it does look like this has caused hurt, this has caused upset, you're feeling really stuck, but things will be moving on soon. They're timeless readings, so whenever you come across them, hopefully they will resonate with you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.